Hello guys, welcome back, James here. So today I'm gonna analyze the game 4 of the film vs Resurgence of MPO Final Season 5. Okay, let's take a look here. It's a very interesting draft. So I'm gonna analyze the draft first. Okay, so Uranus, strong Holland heroes, and then in exchange they get Kufra and Granger, which is still okay. And then they give a really surprise hero, which is the Serena. But but then then resurgence side they get the Kaja Tamus. I mean still fine, still fine. Okay, then TFM take uh Misitara, which I don't think I don't really like the Misitara pick over here. But then it's one of the signature hero, it's just okay. And same goes to Cho. Then resurgence here pick up the Silvana. So by looking at the draft over here, resurgence actually have a more advantage. As you can see, Kaja, Kufra, there's so many initiate hero over here. Same goes to Silvana. So landing wise, I think uh, Resurgence is gonna have a really comfortable landing compared to Geek Fam side, where the Geek Fam mid trio, the Carry, Selena, and Mixita is not gonna have much comfortable time because their movement is get restricted by the Kaja and Kufra. So I have to think how to go in and initiate unless 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 the Selena snowball early game and able to get multiple kills to set up for the team. If not, it's really hard for uh, Geek Fam to play the early to mid game because uh, if the early game so Selena didn't hit any hit any arrow, it's gonna be a lot of problem. Okay, I'm just gonna show the laning here. Okay, Selena and Misita and Kairi, yes, start buff, start buff, okay. Now these are small things over here that Selena didn't go for Rome item. He go for the mana and then he get level 2 very fast compared to the Kaja. I think by 2 seconds, yes, he's at level 2 but Kaja is still level 1. So these are the small things that we all can take note. And then here, because the Kufra over there to sh to see the position of the enemy, they know that the Selena is going to invade the red buff. Therefore, they tell his teammate to go to the red buff, and then with Granger Retreat, they are able to secure the red buff. Which I think is a 50-50 trade. It's okay. Then look at here, Selena Arrow, Mr. Hook. Then get to zone them out and then Silvana rotate. I mean, it's still okay. And the landing is really, I mean, good for resurgence. Actually, they want Damos to land against um, Uranus. So they both just clear lane. And you can see that resurgence always rotate to other lane. They don't want to rotate to Uranus. Make sure that Uranus and Damos just having farm together it's fine they just farm i farm it's okay we don't die fine then give him just gonna pressure the cho make sure cho is no farm so later on when cho have flicker and skills cho don't have any item and because cho don't have any item he cannot push and kill the granger because it's granger red tree then the cho will be useless so you can see the movement right here for resurgence yes okay look they go bottom they try to get someone because Kaja is level 4. So the opportunity is there. They are waiting. If Kaja gets someone, they just burst. And then boom, Genji come here, got arrow, Kaja pull, come back, Kufra OT flicker, choke kick. But then this is what you gonna happen when you jump in to a Genji with Red Tree. Yes, you are Cho, but you don't have any item yet. That's kind of small, small things that we all need to take note. And then here, Carrie is actually farming okay. I mean, compared to Granger, yeah, Granger got one assist, but Carrie got one kill as a bounty hunter. And you can see here that um, the Sardina and the Cho movement. So, so what you want want to do right here is you want to force the turtle, because because during this time, you see the Granger is still missing. Probably they taking buff. But then again, it's very risky, yeah, just like this. Because of the game side don't have red tree, so it's a very risky to rush turtle. 
unless you rush and then all in take the turtle or you don't go in at all then they go in so selena also go in but selena means his first kill so he's unable to kill the granger which is unfortunately really unfortunate again then carries farming chose farming uranus is going bottom again i think uranus is really easy to lane against the damos over here it's a really 50 50 and i'm gonna skip forward a little bit okay just to come to here i think okay so this is the power of kufa and kaja you can see that uh, when when carry is alone and uh, cho uh, Selina and Misita rotate to other side but they are unable to kill anyone look at here so this is looking really good for resurgence as you know and then, then Kajak ulti again so this is really looking really good for resurgence because Geek, uh, Granger is using red tree and then Geekfam didn't punish his red tree earlier so what you want to do is actually want to force to punish him but then every time when the Cho or Misita get the Granger there's always no follow up damage that's that's what you can learn and then see from the draft at first because at the Geek Fem side their draft is okay if you win early game but then it's not okay if you come to late game because Misita and Selina these two are really uh slow to clear the lane but compared to this side you can see we have kufra and kaja kaja is known to clear lane fast same goes to tamus Silvana. so in terms of the lane landing pressure the resurgence is doing more pressure than the gig fan side but in uh i mean compared to not uh, compared to the rotation also resurgence is actually way faster than the gig fam as well you can see the kaja and the kufa is always moving together so one is always in front one is always behind so if anything happened to the granger they still can back the granger up which i think that's one of the things that the resurgence did to play like this and then see that's what you want to see so you want to see that um the your tank in resurgence which is a kufra and kaja get anyone and then make sure the granger snowball over here from here although it's really hard to stop a uh, retribution marksman to farm but still you need to find a way if not just don't go for mixita over here i think you need someone to all in to granger which one of the hero to all in is hylos is get banned same goes to Atlas is banned as well. And you can see you can see here whenever the Granger move, he's always moving along with the tank or with the support. So this is to ensure that his position is always safe. I believe that's how you want to play if you want to play a um, MM retreat. And then boom, here Kaja gets someone, get a kill, Kufra come in as well. See, that's uh, that's what happens if you go on a Mista Supro, you don't have any damage. So people are not are not scared of your OT. They can just dive into you. Okay. So take a look here. So now the researchers may come switch. They want a Silvana to land against a Uranus because at this point of time uh Uranus is probably uh, not so tanky yet and then Silvana is has glowing one. But then too bad, yeah, still dead. Yeah. So in in terms of creating space in this game, resurgence actually create more space than Kick Fam. You can see the carry movement is always restricted because he don't know where is the Kufa and Kaja. But compared to Kick Fam here, they know where the tank are, but they are, they have nothing to do against it. Because look, the Kaja is having antenna shoot, same goes to Kufra. So it's gonna be really easy for Kufra and Kaja to to take the first wave of the arrow and then maybe maybe able to make a play for the team. Right. 
So in here, um, actually it's really hot right now. I mean, Granger got snowballed so much. This is this is what you don't want. You know, you don't want to see in the in the tournament side because of the marksman snowball so much. You can see the goal over here. That you can see the goal over here. That um, Granger goal is already 8k compared to the carry is still 6k. Which I think is I think is totally fine, and also the Uranus is um still getting item. I think he's he's probably going to immortality, which I don't think he's enough uh tank enough to tank the Granger damage. And over here, Kaja join Flicker pool, uh Misita join and OT. I think it's okay, and then Kufra OT but didn't hit anyone. Okay, this is some fight that that resurgence we like to take because resurgence is actually leading in net worth and level so they are they should be winning fights right now but then again uh, over here you see they burst all the skills Uranus burst purify uh, flicker burst on misitara which is 50 50 i think it's fine so this is really a set I mean, set initiative and set games coming out from Kickfam because Sunny Knight didn't get any comfortable arrow and the setup. Because Sunny and Misita, these two heroes actually both want to hide. And you can see right here that Misita is, Misita is hiding in bush, but then Kufa charge in. You see, that's, that's, that's what you can't do as a Misita. You, you go in, yes. You get hit by Kufra and Kaja. That's why I I say from the earlier the map control is going to be really hard for the GFM side, and it's going to be really dominant on the resurgence side, because when you're hiding in a bush as a Kufra, you can able to hit another bush. But then as a Misita, if you don't snowball early game, even if you go to the bush, you hook someone, people's just gonna fight you, right? Same goes to same goes to Kaja. But then also Sadina didn't snowball, so and then look look how the resurgence play over here. They get is five, they handle the lane before the lane come. Uh they, if they want to defend, Granger is gonna OT, Kufa is gonna skill in just to delay just to delay them from defending the towers. Then they slowly take the towers, get the towers. And then now they go back, Genjo want to take buff. Now this is the part that they supposed to fight over here. Okay, Mr. Drop OT, but then still the enemy right now for I mean it's too too fat. It's getting fat so much. Look at the Granger is 9-1, so pretty unstoppable. Then carry doesn't have much item, you cannot do anything again get hit by Kufra so we can see the initiate coming out from all the all the Kufra Kaja is really good it's really amazing okay let's see I just want to see the game yeah item choice okay so I I mean I, I'm not really favor of getting carry wind talker over here which I don't think is really good and also Uranus item choice, half build on the antenna shield, then half build on the mask. Okay, so overall I'll say that um, it's a pretty, uh, I mean, disadvantage draft for GFM side, but it's a really good draft and a comfortable hero pick over here for resurgence. That's why they secure the early game, mid game, and late game. Okay. So I think this will be my last game of Analyze for this series. Uh, anyway, congrats uh, Surgeons for winning MPL champion. Okay, so if you guys have any question, make sure you comment below and then ask me. Okay, I'll try to reply one by one. And if you like my video and do like, share and subscribe. Alright, thank you guys. Bye-bye.